All right, well, we got her back up and running. It was kind of odd. I mean, I figured it'd be air in the system, and I guess that's all it was. But I got it started back up, and right away I tried to put work the hydraulics, and neither the front end loader nor the three point would pick up. Okay, so I don't think I made a video about this the other day when I was when it happened and when I started, but I was pretty pretty peeved, uh, and I just wanted to try to get it worked on and and get the parts ordered. So basically, what I had happen was my hydraulic oil filter, which on this little Century tractor is mounted in a horrible location right underneath the end tractor, it broke off. It literally broke off. It didn't twist off. It broke. You can see the metal's busted. And this is the threads where the filter just threads onto the housing. So here's the other half, the actual housing, and you can see down inside there, whoops, if I can get it turned around. See down inside there, the same thing. The metal here is, is all busted off. That's a piece of cast aluminum. Whoops. So it just runs straight through. There's no way to replace just that nipple. It runs straight through and comes out on this side. This is where your hydraulic oil return comes into the filter. And then it goes up on this top pipe and goes out it goes back over into the bottom of the transmission and the, and the hydraulic pump. So, I have no idea how it broke off. Um, I didn't hear like a loud whack or anything that made a noise or a pop. I was just backing up, backplating with the bucket and went to pick the bucket up and it wouldn't pick up. And then I looked behind me and saw my box plate sitting on the ground. And then I looked underneath and saw a big puddle of hydraulic oil. The problem that I see is this filter it hangs horizontal like this. This is basically underneath the tractor. The filter just hangs here off this housing, with no support, and it's a big filter. Mind you, the one they sent me from Century, or from Branson Tractor, is even bigger. I don't think that's even gonna fit. I don't think I can put it on there because just looking at where the, the piping and everything is, it's not gonna work. This thing's massive. I mean, this is like bigger than the oil filter on my excavator. So yeah, that's a wonderful idea. Make a chintzy little tractor and then give it massive filters because that'll make it better, I guess. Anyway, so I got the new part. This is the new filter housing. Again, cast aluminum, cheap as can be. Um, and it's, you know, I mention this every time, but it's it's difficult. You, you cannot find aftermarket parts for this tractor by looking online. I haven't been able to find a parts manual or anything, but you call Branson because a lot of the parts match. Branson Tractor took over Century Tractor. Anybody that knows a Century hopefully knows that. But anyway, so you have to call a Branson Tractor dealer and they can usually find the parts. I mean, I think this guy, he didn't even have a part number on mine, but he basically knew what I was looking for. And I sent him a picture of mine and he said, yeah, this looks pretty close. So we're going to swap <clears throat> this return line. It's just a hard line. It's just got four bolts and an O-ring to go right there. We're gonna swap that onto this new housing. We're gonna get this new housing installed. And then hopefully, hopefully the new filter fits. Um, but if not, I'm gonna to have to go to town and try to find a hydraulic oil filter that's shorter that I can put on there and then see about getting them this big tanker back. But anyway, should just be four bolts off and on. And then I've got the, I've got the O-ring here too. They put it in this huge plastic sleeve so you don't lose it. Let me get that swapped over and then we'll go crawl under the tractor and try to get this put back on. All right, well, here's the, I would say the mile high view to be funny, but this is the foot off the ground view. <laughs> I got the new filter housing in place and it's the same as the old one, just these two bolts. There's one right here behind this bracket, and one on the other side that bolts up this whole uh, housing. You can see right there where the silver sticking through where this hose goes on. And then of course the other hose is uh, up on top here and that runs out. Wow, that's gonna make you guys sick. That runs out and hooks in right back here. That big blue filter they sent me as the replacement filter did not fit, period. Uh, but thankfully, old Napa saved the day and was able to cross it. I brought into Napa, I brought the old filter and the new big blue one. 
uh, just to try to see if they could cross either one of them and find something else that was, you know, close but a little shorter. The blue one stuck all the way back here and, and tagged up on this elbow. Um, Napa was not able to cross the number on the original black filter that I had, not through their computer system, but the guy working there was like, hey, let me just see what Google says. So he actually just got on Google and punched in the part number and luckily found a cross. It's a Napa, Napa filter. So it should have crossed in their system. But again, these little Sentry tractors and Kucha engines apparently are just hard to find information on. So anyway, just got the filter. Uh, turn it on here with my Gator grips. Um, that little bit of oil that's leaking out there is just what I put on the seal. So let's start dumping oil in the tractor and hopefully be done with this one. All right, well, we got her back up and running. It was kind of odd. I mean, I figured there'd be air in the system, and I guess that's all it was. But I got it started back up, and right away, I tried to put work the hydraulics, and neither the front end loader nor the three-point would pick up. Acting like they were totally unresponsive. Um, but then I worked the bucket back and forth a little bit and managed to get it to break over, I guess, whatever little airlock it had. And then once I got it moved, and then it came up, and everything worked totally loaded. So take a little peek underneath. in five gallons of oil and the sight glass is down at the bottom of low again um, it's not totally empty but I want to drive it around a little bit uh, cycle through all the hydraulics a little more just keep working them and kind of work out little air pockets uh, and then we'll go ahead and top off the rest of the system but I've got another five gallon bucket so it shouldn't take any more than maybe another gallon but yeah cool I'll get that done and then maybe I can actually go to see about if I can clean up some of this in the shop here if I'm Maybe.